Hey there. I've been shooting Impossible Projects film in my SX-70 and one-step cameras for about six years now, and I've always wondered why their packs only have eight shots in them. Impossible claims the reason is because their film is thicker than the original Polaroid stock. I've compared it and it's true. Impossible film is almost imperceptibly thicker than Polaroids, especially on the end with the uh, chemical pack. But will 10 Impossible shots really not fit in their packs? Let's find out. These are a number of screw-up shots I've taken over the years. Impossible film expires really quickly, and by their own admission, a pack that's been on your camera for three months can yield bad exposures and poor chemical spread. Uh, this problem can happen in fresh packs, too, actually. Some of these have also just faded over the years. You can barely make out an image on this one that was clear when I took it. Impossible film is not archival, so scan it as soon as you can. Now, let's get loading. This would have been a really cute picture of the kid with her new baby niece. Definitely don't use Impossible for anything that's important to you. It's an experimental film. And number six. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. <laughs> Actually, this is, uh, this is expired Polaroid film. Um, yeah, it's, it's really gorgeous. Nice and sharp, uh, great tones, and developed in less than a minute. The good old days, right? And there you go. As you can see, there's still some flex in the spring. Nothing's too tight. High tolerances are just what I'd expect from Polaroid engineering. Now, let's try it on the camera. And there's the dark slide. Shot number 10. Shot number nine. And now we're at where Impossible fills up the uh, pack themselves. Impossible's new i1 camera uses film packs. Uh, they design themselves and they still only pack eight shots in them. So, is this really a technical problem or is this just Impossible being stingy with what we get out of their uh, $25 packs of film?